doing a little update on the Pacific musk turtles Mexican giant musk turtles or whatever you want to call them they're beasts right now they've gotten larger I haven't even had them a year but they've really taken off the last probably three months they were real shy when I first got them but they started to come around also in here I have a Mississippi mud turtle that I can't keep with my other three turtles because he's kind of aggressive so if you want to act like a killer you get to live amongst killers he doesn't bother these two very much at all they were smaller than him when I got them now they're larger than him and have way bigger heads these are my foods of choice I just got these mud and musk turtle pellets which are perfect for them they sink and then the Hakari turtle sticks and then there's the regular aquatic turtle food. Zoomed makes pretty good products when it comes to turtles. And right here is my 40 gallon breeder tank. I'm going to use their basking light as a way to see them. My razorback musk turtle that I've had for four years now. He's a male. The newest turtle I got is a yellow mud turtle. I happened to run across somebody selling it on Craigslist, so I picked it up. Which was really a good deal. In this tank, I. Uh, I'm running the submersible Exoterra 350 filter and a Whisper I-40. And yes, I clean the water regularly. Partial water changes every two weeks. Full tank change probably every 90 days. Got a yellow lab cichlid that lives in here with these guys. And then this little stump, there's a... Uh, Another cichlid, I don't remember what it's called. And I also have a convict in here, a pretty big one. You can see the convict down there. He actually got in a squabble with the other cichlid that now resides in the stump. They were fighting over the stump. Got the Power Sun UVA UVB bulb. The Razorback Musk Turtle never basks. He's never even tried to climb out of the water. He doesn't care for that. And I'm kind of against the fact that people say that every single turtle needs to have a basking area. I'm a true believer that these ones really don't need it. They really don't care for it. I've had him without one. His shell's perfectly fine. He's healthy. He's a beast. This yellow mud turtle likes to climb up on the dock. It's actually a large dock, but the damn thing's so heavy that it sinks it when it climbs up there. So the only one that really takes advantage of the dock is the small Mississippi mud turtle. Who's kind of hard to see right now. And back to these guys, I'll go ahead and give them some food. It's feeding time and also for entertainment purposes.
The regular Mexican giant musk turtles are prettier and have the more ornate shell design, but if you ask me, these ones got awesome head colorations. They got some cool spots and they're beasts in their own right. It was either get one of those or two of these. And you see they get into it over food sometimes. Hey! That's not good. I'm gonna end up having to separate them. Mississippi mud just minds his own business and tries to stay clear of these guys. I don't blame him. But I'll keep you guys updated. They're going to actually be moving into a bigger tank. I'm going to get another 40 gallon breeder and give them an area to haul out. They climb out on the plants for now. They seem to like it. But when I did have a dock in there, they never would completely come out of the water. So I'll give it a try again and see if maybe they'll take advantage of it. But I think they're a more aquatic species. They really don't care to be out of the water. Maybe females when they're nesting, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll update when I get the larger tank. And or another turtle. Let me know what you think.